Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen and today we are diving into Lead Code Daily Challenge number 1203, sort item groups by uh, respecting uh, dependencies. So, uh, if there is one thing I have learned from my years of coding is that understanding the underlying strategy uh, of algorithm is paramount. So before we dive into the problem, let's uh, take a moment to discuss this. So algorithms are not just about uh, memorizing the code, uh, they are about understanding the pattern and uh, applying particular logic uh, to solve a broader range of uh, problems and apply this logic uh, in different uh, situations. So think of them as uh, tools in your coding toolbox. So the more uh, strategies you are familiar with, the more uh, equipped you are to tackle diverse uh, range of problems. So today we are exploring a fantastic problem uh, that deals with uh, topological sorting. So sort item uh, by groups respecting and dependencies. So now uh, I won't just throw you into the deep end. Let's ensure we all understand the problem first. So here is an example. We are given uh, item groups and uh, before uh, items. And uh, yeah, so our goal is to sort this item such that group uh, integrity is maintained uh, and also the dependencies are respected. So for example, if item A uh, points to item B, uh, A must come before B in our sorted uh, list. So we have, for example, uh, six before three uh, and also six before one. So as you can see, uh, six is before uh, one and also uh, six is before three. And also we have three six before four. So those are uh, both before four and we have particular gr groups uh, and we need to maintain this uh, integrity as well. So uh, with the problem clear in our mind, uh, let's dive into code and how can we solve it. So uh, we will be crafting uh, our implementation in Python, uh, but uh, remember the logic uh, is the same. Uh, so you can translate uh, logic into another language uh, it's just a syntax. So our main strategy hinges on topological sorting. So we will do this twice, once for the groups and once for the item within those groups. So uh, oh, here is our sort function that takes proper parameter. And now let's dive into a topological uh, sort function. So it's going to be a helper uh, to arrange nodes based on the dependencies and the uh, DQ will let us handle nodes without pre predecessor efficiently. So, uh, def topological sort, node predecessor and successor and order no predecessor, DQ node for node in nodes. If not node and while no predecessor node will be no pred pop left and order append node and for as in successor node pred discard node and if not predecessor of else, not predecessor append s. So return order if len of order equals len note else empty. Okay, so uh, we did it. So, uh, and now uh, let's store our uh, memory. So group to item, new group, will be just default dict uh, set and m and now for item uh, in range if group item equal minus one group item new group and group plus one and group to item group item at I 
Mm, yeah. Okay, so now uh, intra predecessor and intra successor and intra predecessor inter successor will be default dict set default dict set default dict and default dict set so yeah here we need to fix indentation yeah all good okay so uh this default dict are essential for our solution and they will help us track relationship uh, which item is when in which group so which item comes before another and so on uh, so uh, look at this uh, two scenarios so in the first item within the same group have dependencies which we term uh, as uh, intra uh, group so uh, intra predecessor or intra successor and in the second, an item in one group depends on an item from another group. So we call it intergroup. Uh, our uh, code needs to handle uh, yeah, both this situation, ensuring the source at least respect both these dependencies. So now for item in range, or before in before item uh, yeah okay and if group item equals group before intra predecessor item at before and intra sac Successor before at item. So else inter predecessor group item and at group before and inter successor group before at group item. Okay. Uh, so uh, here we are iterating over each item and uh, also its dependencies. So if the item and its dependency are in the same group, it's an intra-group uh, relationship. Otherwise, it's intergroup. Uh, so now uh, that our relation uh, are set, we will begin the topological sorting on the uh, groups. So group order will be topological sort list group to item key inter predecessor inter successor and if not group order then return empty and finally item order will be empty and for group in group order order will be topological sort group to item group intra predecessor intra successor and if not order return empty and item order extend order and finally return item orders so uh, this is our implementation and uh, with groups sorted it's time to sort the item uh, within them also ensuring that each item dependencies are maintained so uh, let's see our code in action with some uh, sample uh, yeah test cases um, hopefully it will run yeah so <laughs> uh, implemented correctly awesome so uh, as you can see, uh, given this uh, example uh, previously mentioned, uh, so we have uh, six and three before four. Uh, so uh, as expected, 
and also 6 is uh, before uh, 1 and also 6 is before uh, 3. So now we can uh, run it for unsynthesis cases as well to verify. So if it's working. So uh, yeah, all good. Uh, we beat around 76% uh, with respect to uh, memory. I think like my best because it's uh, derived uh, a bit sometimes. Uh, it's uh, around uh, yeah, 370 milliseconds, but uh, it's quite, yeah, maybe not so efficient, but uh, it's really nice uh, implementation. And with respect to memory, only 5.8%, but with respect to runtime, uh, quite good. And there we have it, uh, a double dose of uh, topological sorting to solve uh, a seemingly uh, complex problem. So it, it was complex. And I hope this uh, session uh, shed a light on the strategy and also the logic behind uh, the code. And if you enjoyed this session, uh, hit the like button and subscribe for more uh, coding uh, tutorials, challenges, and much more. And any question or insight, uh, please uh, feel free to comment below and uh, let's discuss. And most importantly, uh, keep practicing happy coding and see you next time.